Hey everybody, um, Stefan here, and I'm pretty much the cock of my ass sexual. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> oh, no, seriously, um, I usually use the word queer to identify myself. Once again, yay umbrella terms, so, um, but that's not necessarily always what I've identified as, per se. Um, my sexuality has been kind of an evolution, as has my gender been, so I found that sexuality terms kind of come in two forms. There are sexuality terms that define both who you are and who you're attracted to, such as, you know, being straight would imply a man and a woman, or a woman and a man, you know, opposite, whatever. Blah. <laughs> But then um, even homosexual, gay, or lesbian would imply the same, being attracted to each other. But then you have terms such as pansexual, or bisexual, or queer that is just who you're attracted to. Not necessarily anything about you as a person. So, growing up as a female assigned person, I found myself attracted more towards females and so that would lump me into the lesbian category, although I didn't really like the term lesbian because to me it meant a woman being attracted to a woman, which I know, you know, um, Dylan is awesome enough to create his own definition of that word, but for me, uh, I couldn't get past the woman being with a woman part, and I didn't feel completely woman, so I didn't really identify completely with, with that term, so even when I was in like the lesbian scene per se, I use the word queer or the word gay to uh, to define myself. I would say like gay girl or um, something like that. And um, then as I started to explore my transsexuality, it got a lot more complicated because <laughs> I was like, wait, if I'm now a guy and attracted to girls, does that mean be straight? Hell no! <laughs> I don't want to be heterosexual. Uh, I spent way too much of my life trying to fight the heteronormative society and all that, so um, that didn't really work out. And even when I've been attracted to women, I've mostly been attracted to like people who are obviously gay in my eyes, which is basically, you know, more gender bendy uh, type women, even though the women that I've previously dated have been more femme, um, that just is because I generally date whoever's attracted to me, because <laughs> um, I'm pretty shy and don't really like go after people <laughs> or anything like that. So, um, but when I have my choices um, and I actually go with them, I'm more attracted to people who are more androgynous looking and stuff like that. Um, and it's interesting because I feel that my sexuality has changed prior to, um, like between when I was identifying as female and when I decided to transition to uh, being mostly male because I find myself attracted to a way wider range of people nowadays, um, not just you know, women or androgynous people of the female sort, but also effeminate men, and, um, yeah, not so much, not so much masculine men or really, really feminine females, though, so I've been toying with the idea of, like, gender fuck sexual, because <laughs> I just like everybody who messes around with gender and falls somewhere in between, um, but I'm not really sure whether I've had those feelings previously and just didn't allow myself to express my potential feelings for um, like effeminate men and men in general because I was like, well, I'm a, you know, butch gay girl and we don't do boys or whatever, but it could just be because my eyes are open to how fluid and awesome gender is now and so I can just find myself attracted to people of all sorts. Um, but as much as that's really interesting, it's kind of not relevant at the moment because once you find a person, you don't really care who you're attracted to. You're just like, oh, look, they're pretty, and your person's like, oh, yeah, they are, and you go on. <laughs> so, um, that's, uh, that's fun. Um, 
Let's see. Um, speaking of which, it's really fun right now because I'm a gender-bendy person, dating a gender-bendy person, and um, it's really funny because people want to gender us the same whenever we go out, so we're usually either lesbians or gay men <laughs> wherever we go. Um, not many people actually see us as a heterosexual couple, which was one of my main fears when I decided to transition, which apparently is completely unfounded, hence the cat shirt. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, like just today we went um, out to a place and um, they were giving out samples and they were like, oh, would you gentlemen like a sample? And we are like, sure. <laughs> And then later on, they're like, oh, did you ladies, blah, blah, blah. And we're just like, okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's really fun. And, I mean, I get taken for a gay guy all the time and don't correct people. And I actually like it a lot. And I'm pretty flamboyant and own that. Um, some of my friends are like, well, you can't be a gay guy because you don't date boys. But it's like, well, the person that I'm dating is gender fluid and I'm gender fluid and who says that we're not gay boys sometimes and we're not lesbians sometimes and I can't be a boyfriend and a girlfriend and a bendy friend and who knows what else. <laughs> so I think that um, that sexuality is awesome and can totally change over time and it can be whatever you want it to be.